Hey everybody, so as I promised, I was going to do a video for my April winners and losers. So we're going to go right into it and we're going to discuss about my winners. The first thing that I'm really loving is the NYX. Um, it's called the Eyebrow Cake Powder in Dark Brown Brown. And I really was shocked on how great this thing was. So you get um, a wax and, a, and two different color of um, browns and it's really great. Um, the wax is actually really easy to use. I'm really shocked. It kind of gets warmed up by the brush that you're using and um, and the browns are super pigmented. So here is the dark brown that I use for my eyebrows and then and the light brown. So those are the two colors. The other thing that I'm really loving is my EOS lip balm and this is in summer fruit or something like that it's called something like that <laughs> it's called something like that i think it's called summer fruit last time i remember but i did a review on it on my blog and it's really creamy it has cute packaging and it's organic so that's um that's a cool thing so check out my blog for more of a detail about this. um another thing is the benefit hula um the Benefit Hula Bronzer, very matte, that's what it looks like, very matte, and it's super, super pigmented, but if you just layered it little by little, it will give you that perfect bronze. The one thing I do like about this is that it's close to what a brown would be. Um, meaning like if you look at some other bronzers, they kind of have like an orange tint to it This has no orange tint to it. So I absolutely love another it. another thing that I'm really loving is the makeup forever And this is the HD powder and I believe everyone did a review on YouTube about it But it's my really favorite loving the Maybelline define a lash. So I bought it in two different ways um, the green one is for length and the purple maroon one is for volume and I love it. It's waterproof. It's super pigmented. It never flakes. It never runs. And it literally does what it's supposed to do. So this one, I find it that it really lengthens. And obviously the volume really volumizes. I've never used it together. And I won't ever. I just feel like on its own, it's it has a lot of product on it. So for you to use both of it, I think it would come out a little clumpy. But... Um, the one thing I do love about the thing is um, the wand. It's kind of interesting looking. And on top of that, if you, it's really flexible. So I think, I thought that was cool how flexible it is. And it's a rubber type um, of applicator. It's not like the, the bristles or the, the typical. It's, it's, the, it's the rubber one. And a lot of people don't really like it. I don't care. I mean, it's, it works, so... Love it. Great find. Gotta check these. I'm loving my L'Oreal Linear Intense in Carbon Black. And it's an eyeliner with a felt tip pen. And it's very similar to the Lancome Art Liners. And it's really great because it's super forgiving. And the lines you can go as thin or as thick as you want it to be. The pigmentation is great. And it dries fast, but I did notice, like, towards the end of the day, that the black kind of lost its intensity a little bit. Another thing that I'm absolutely loving that I did a review on already on my blog is Mark's Just a Pinch. And it's in um, Cheeky. And what it is, it's, it's literally a cream liner. Oh, not a cream liner. It's a cream blush base that I like to use. And it's really kind of sheer but you can build it up so there it is it has a uh, great sheen to it um, like I said it's very buildable and I put um, max pink swoon over it just to achieve that baby doll look which I have on right now love it um, the only downside to this is that you only get this much a product for like seven dollars this product is perfect because during the winter where my skin is dry this product um, moisturizes it and at the same time when my skin kind of goes into the summer where it gets a little oily 
um, I still use the same lotion and it achieves both of moisturizing in the summer and in the winter. I don't know. Does that make sense? Basically, this is the best thing that Clinique has ever made and I love them for it. Love them for it. Uh, last thing and my favorite is the Max Graphic Black Teleco Liner. It's not going to zoom into it, so I'm not going to bother. Um, it's like this. It's the non-sharpening kind. And I like to use it in my upper waterline. Upper waterline and my inner tear duct. It, it does so not. So now that you've seen my winners, now I'm going to show you my losers. Um, oh, Clinique Three Step. The number one and number two. I really, really wanted to love this. I really did. Everybody was like, oh, it's the best thing. And I wanted to be one of those people who are like, yeah, it totally cleared up my skin. No, it didn't. It broke it out. And I thought maybe if I stuck with it, um, it would clear up eventually. And after six months, I was still having breakouts. And I still am um, because of this. And I said, forget it. It's not working. Oh, I really want it to work. So this is one of my losers. Another one of my losers are the Hip Dual Eyeliners. And this one is in Eggplant. And this one is in Midnight Blue. I did a review on it on my blog. So you can check out how I really feel about it and why. But that, doesn't that look pretty? It's just disappointing. It just doesn't show up the color that it is or as pigmented as I want it to be. So, and even as bases, they're not really that good. So, you can check that out later. Um, another one that I don't like is the Greed in Wet n Wild. This is super disappointing. I saw a couple of people do re did reviews on them and they said it was great. It was not great. Not pigmented at all. Not pigmented. I try to foil it as why there's like different color mixtures in it. It, it doesn't work out. It's not pigmented. It's chalky. It's muddy. It's gross. And it's a waste of money. So there you go. So another of my losers is the Paul Brown Superwear Brow Definer. And it's a felt tip pen. And what I don't like about this is it doesn't fill out my brows. It's purposely supposed to be light. The, the color so it doesn't so it looks more natural I'm just trying to so me after like three minutes of rubbing in the morning on my eyebrows this is all you really get that's the pigmentation I kind of was expecting it to be better sorry here so I marked it even more and that's like profusely like rubbing back and forth back and forth and I don't really like it so um, Paul Brown, I think it's a local company in Hawaii. Um, great salon, just this product just does not work for me. Another thing that was a miss was the Revlon, um, I think it's like Revlon Moisture thing, but it's in baby pink. This brand is great. This line of lipstick is great for moisturizing. But it's just this color was a major fail in my lips. It was not a cute color. I think it made my teeth look weird. I don't know. But that's what the lipstick color looks like. And I actually did a review on this. So you can go ahead and check it out. Um, I love their Soft Nude. Soft Nude or something like that. That was a great brand. Uh, great color. But this color was a no-go. So that's pretty much it for my April winners and losers. I want to know what your winners and losers were. So if you want to um, comment below, do a video response or anything like that, I would love to read them all. Also, check out my blog where you will find more swatches and other reviews um, on makeup and like my daily ramblings about things. Um, so check that out. It's www houseofgenic.com and I'll leave a link in the underbar for you guys and I'll hope to see you guys soon and thank you very much for watching.